All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. On today, we're going to talk about keeping this. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you like any of my videos, please hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Um, I don't have a jersey on, but if you like any of the jerseys you see in my videos, you can head on over to Bullify, and I'll leave my link below. Um, if you're looking for any ball maintenance stuff, cleaning products, etc., you can head over to Creating the Difference and order you some good cleaning products that are amazing and any of the balls you see in any of my videos you can head over to www.gibhartsbowling.com and you can order yourself up a bowling ball all right and on that note i am going to leave a link to uh my discord in the link below um i started discord a couple weeks ago it's free to anyone to come over, talk about bowling, uh, post your videos, post, you know, tournament scores, league scores, and just come hang out and enjoy the company of other bowlers. All right, so today's topic, I want to talk about keeping a notebook. I mean, you don't have to be as aggressive with a notebook like this, you know, as big as this, but it's nice to keep notes on you know your equipment and stuff like that so like in the first section here of this notebook i have a ball list so just going through a couple here like i'll write down the balls all the differentials you know the layouts blah 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 and the grits that i've tried on it and then with the grits i'll write you know what i preferred what worked good on that ball for me we'll just skip to a couple more you know like the phase four you know what grits i tried it at find one here like the omega crutch you know the list of the ball information what surfaces i've tried on it what seemed to work what seemed not to work so that's kind of a something you can do you know make a list of all your equipment what surface you used on it, whether it's out of the box or whatever. And so you know that, hey, I didn't like this ball at 3,000, but love it at 2,000. Um, so the next category I have in this book is surface maintenance. I do all my surface stuff. Um, I have a ball spinner in that. I got sanding pads and conditioner through CTD and I keep track of mine. So like here, what I'll do is, I have a bowling app and it tells me how many games on it. So when I first started this year, I went down through and wrote games. Okay, the ball has three games on it. I'm gonna resurface this ball in 12 games, just so I can keep the cover fresh. You may wanna do it in six games. You may wanna do it in 32 games, whatever your preference is. Mine is every 12 games on it. So my next, will be game 15 after 15 games i will resurface and that's the grip that i have on it now you know so let's see here find one here like this one here the zen soul i've surfaced it a couple times before it was due just because i wanted to try a different surface on it so i kept track of when i surfaced it and what surface is on it so i know okay if i like it at 2000 i know when i gotta change that surface again to get it back to where i like it now my next category is tournament notes so you can almost basically with the tournament notes if you bowl in a tournament um sorry um you know what pattern you're on 
So you can write down, okay, we were on the cheetah pattern, you know, it was this long. Okay, this is the equipment I used. Uh, this is what each ball individually did. You know, whether it was good, whether it was bad, you keep track. Now, I've only bowled one tournament since I started this book. So I only have like this past weekend I bowled in a Baker's Double. So we were on 44 Big Ben. I wrote down what grit the balls were at and what each ball did at that grit, whether it was good, whether it was bad, you know, just information. So now I know if I ever bowl on 44 foot Big Ben pattern again, I can go back to my notes and look and say, all right, well, the DBA worked good. The Zen worked not so good on the fresh, but by game three, it was coming in nice and working perfect. So just little side notes like that will help keep, you know, track of different patterns and stuff that you bowl on so you know for next time. Uh, the next one is, it's just basic bowling stats from year to year. Um, like I got last year's stats in here, you know, how many, you know, what I was averaging per game, you know, single pin percentage, you know, high series, high game, you know, how many clean, just information that you can go to, like say after this fall season, I will put the, them stats in and look and see, okay, did I improve from this year, from last year, or did I get worse? What did I improve in? So let's just say, for instance, my um, single pin percentage from last year was 73% now say it's only 62% this year, just saying. Then I can look and say, okay, I'm having problems shooting single pins. So now I can go back into my bowling app, see what pins I was struggling with to make adjustments to try to practice that. So I know, okay, these are what I was having problems with, so now I can fix it. And just the last one is uh, ball details I have. Um, it's basically gone all over all my equipment, which I have on the first one, but I can keep them set for like my heavy oil balls. You know, I got the Ghost and the Forge Flare, you know, they symmetric or asymmetric, you know, medium to heavy oil balls, what I have in my arsenal and so on. So I can go back and look, okay, I can go and look at that section and be like, all right, I know I want to take two asymmetric balls, two symmetric balls. So do I want, you know, do I want to take two heavy asymms and two light symmetricals or do I want to take a heavy symmetrical, heavy asymm, medium to heavy asymm, you know, stuff like that. I can go back and look and see what I have for each uh, types of oil, you know, whether it's going to be heavy, light, so I can figure out how I want to build an arsenal around that. So in all in all, I mean, it's good to have a notebook. Uh, I carry mine with me every night to league. It's in my backpack. So if I need to make a quick note in there, I have a chance. Okay, I can write in, you know, in the very back of it and be like, all right, this ball, this time of the year wasn't working. It was doing this, need to make adjustments. You know, need to change up my lineup a little bit. Just, it's nice to have references you can go back and look at and see what you need to improve on. Have a list of all your equipment, what it's doing at what surface, and just stuff like that. So, just keep this in mind. Um, especially for like the newer guys that are just getting into bowling and stuff and learning about it. Keeping a notebook will help. Um, this is only my second season being two-handed, so I'm still working with surfaces, still working on how to set up a arsenal the right way and stuff like that. So having a notebook, I can visually go back and look and see what uh, each ball is doing, what it's you know doing at that surface, and whether it's going to be a good fit for this tournament or this time of league so that's just going to be a quick video for that so 
Like I said, if you like any of my videos, please hit that like, subscribe, and I'll leave a link to my Discord and the link below. So come on over, enjoy that. Enjoy, yeah, join that. And it is absolutely free to everyone. So I'll see you guys out on the links.